At certain point in my life, I felt under the spell of Bill Clinton and even sent him a bit of money and got from him signed by him photo under which was written without you I wouldn't be able to and I'm still ashamed of that. However, to my redemption, I have to stress that I didn't vote for Al Gore. Then was Tea Party, then Libertarian Party, and finally and firmly I call myself a follower, in Hebrew it's called Hasid, of a Jewish philosopher of the first century BC, stressing BC, who said that the essence of Jewish life is do not do to your neighbor what you do not want him to do to you. And now to the essence of, of today's talk. My name is Leon Weinstein, I'm ex-Soviet, always Hebrew, and citizen of the great country called the United States of America. I'm known in the Russian language blogosphere, but occasionally do monologues in English, and this is one of those occasions. Usually, <clears throat> I do not remember dreams. But one day, recently, I woke up and vividly remembered President Trump making a speech I was especially happy with. It was surreal, almost surreal, and it, at the same time I knew that it was my dream. In this speech, President said things that he, being in the official capacity, is unable to say. He proposed laws and regulations that would not pass the Democratic Congress or even the so-called moderate Republicans in the Senate. You call them renos, I call them cowards. I'm talking about those people who try to play both sides and offer populists a new breed of free market and freedom they call capitalism with human face or something like that. They are so ignorant that they do not understand that capitalism is the only socio-economical system that inherently has human face. All others do not. I lived in a couple of them. I badly wanted you to hear this speech from my dream and, and decided to retell that to you. Of course, it's like it's like singing songs of Ella Fitzgerald to a person who couldn't get a ticket to her concert at the same time attempting to simulate playing of Louis Armstrong. But, but, but you, might, you might get a general impression. If you will click on the link below, uh, you will get to the speech itself. I hope you will enjoy it. If yes, pass this video to your friends and ask them to do the same. And maybe, maybe, one day this speech will be heard by the president himself. And he will say, hmm, there is indeed, or there are indeed, a couple of interesting ideas in this dream speech. I might pick them up and see how to implement them. There are proposals about immigration and education uh, and, and how to deal with the mobs, but most importantly, there is a proposition to all who hate America, taken directly from the art of the deal, an offer that they will not be able to refuse, I think. Before we part, I want to add that I remember being in a shock and disgust when I saw ISIS, ISIS mob, destroying historical monuments because, they were saying, they didn't like what those monuments represent. Oppressive and wrong religion, oppressive and wrong culture, barbaric idiots, fanatical mobs was in my mind. However, lately, I see same destruction of history here in the United States of America. It is sad. It is terrible. Agonizing. But now, to my dream speech that President Trump will, I'm sure, make one day. Click on the link below under this video and go. Thank you. See you soon.